Hi guys, welcome to this second tutorial in this series of programming Arduino with flow code for absolute beginners. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to blink an LED with flow code. An LED or light emitting diode is a semiconductor light source when forward burst it emits light. LEDs are used mainly to indicate the status of electronic circuit, for example, to indicate that power is on or off, but nowadays they are used in many applications including lighting and beam detection. Today you can easily get a white, blue, red, green, yellow or even infrared LEDs. An LED is similar to a diode. It has two leads. The longer lead is the anode or the positive lead and the shorter lead is the cathode or the negative lead. The intensity or the brightness of the LED depends on the amount of forward current passed through this device. The more current, the brighter the LED, but we must always take attention not to exceed the maximum allowable forward current, as this could damage the LED. Or if we draw more current than the Arduino output pin can handle, this could also destroy the Arduino. So for this reason, it's always good to connect an LED with a series resistor. A good choice to use 470 ohms resistor. You can use other resistors depending on your particular application, but you must always consider not to exceed the allowable forward current. Okay, let us build our circuit. We're gonna use an Arduino and a breadboard. This way you can connect an LED to your Arduino. We're gonna use a breadboard because it makes prototyping very easy. The longer lead, which is an anode, is going to be connected to our digital output pin. You can use any digital output. In this example, we're going to use D7 through a 470 ohms resistor. And the cathode lead or the negative lead of the LED is connected to ground of the Arduino. And that all, guys, is very simple. Then all you need is connect the USB cable and upload the sketch. So we're going to write a simple sketch to blink this LED. The on time is going to be 2 seconds and the off time is going to be 1 second. going to teach you guys how you can use a delay. So let us start a new sketch. To start a new project with flow code, click on new project. Under the Arduino chip pack, you can select the Arduino board that you're going to use. We've got different types of Arduino. In this example, we're going to use the Arduino Uno R3. If you don't have the Arduino license chip pack, you can also select the free because the Arduino is also listed under the free license. Select the Arduino Uno. Click OK. These are the flowchart icons that you can use to create our flowchart. All you need to do is to drag and drop it between the begin and end. If you want to remove yourself to select it and press the delete key. This is an input icon. You can use this input icon. If you want to read the status of something connected to the Arduino pin, like the status of a push button. This is the output icon. You can use this output icon if you want to send a digital logic 1 or 0 to a device connected to a pin of the Arduino, like to switch on or off an LED. This is a delay icon. You can use it to generate a delay. This is a decision, this is the switch, this is the connection point, this is the jump to a connection point, this is the loop icon, this is the macro, this is the component macro, this is the simulation macro, this is the interrupt, this is the calculation, this is the C code, and this is the comment. We're going to explain in detail all these icons in the future tutorials. Flowcode contains hundreds of pre-made component libraries allowing users to interface with a host of sensors, input, output, and electromechanical components with ease. Under the input category, we've got potentiometers, we've got keypad, we've got different type of switches. Under the output, got the buzzer, the pulse width modulation, we've got different types of LEDs. Under the display, we've got different types of LCD, we've 
ko the popular 16 by 2 LCD, the 20 by 4 LCD, ko different types of graphical LCDs, ko also the seven segment displays. Under the sensors, we've got the different types of sensors that you can use. We've got the thermistor, we've got the LM 75 bit temperature sensor, we've got the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. We've got the ultrasonic ranger, we've got PIR motion sensor, we've got the MS5637 barometer sensor. Under the communication, we've got the CAN bus, the MCP2515, we've got FTDI, we've got I2C, I2C slave and master, we've got one wire, we've got SPI, we've got RS232. We've got the popular microchip ENC 28J60 TCP IP. We've got the input output expander. You can use the MCP 23017. We've got the USB. Under the wireless, we've got the HC05 and HC06 Bluetooth. We've got the GPS, GSM, IRDA, RC5, RFID the popular ESP8266 Wi-Fi, we've got ZigBee, under the storage, we've got the EEPROM, we've got SD card, we've got the RTC, we've got the serial EEPROM, under the mechatronics, we've got the various electromechanical devices like the stepper motor, we've got the solenoid, we've got standard servo motor, we've got standard DC motors, and if you don't find the component you are looking for, you can just click on search and look for it. And if the component does not exist with flow code, you can create your own component as well. So the possibilities are really limitless. In this example, we're going to switch on and off an LED connected to D7. So we're going to need an LED. We're going to use the standard 5mm PC port LED. But you can use any LED of your choice. You can either edit on the 3D system panel or on the 2D dashboard. You can also edit on the 2D dashboard. Okay, we're gonna use the 3D. In 3D, you can view your component in three dimensional models we can also rotate your component the first thing after you add your component you must specify to which pin is going to be connected on your microcontroller select the component properties this is the property window under the connection properties, select the pin where you're going to connect your LED. You're going to connect it to digital 7. So select digital 7. It's going to be on D7 of the 8 mega 32 8 because this is the chip that is used inside the Arduino. We're going to send an output of 1 to switch on the LED, we said it's going to be on port D, bit 7. We're going to send the one. Then we're going to need a delay of two seconds. You can use other in microsecond, you can use a delay in microsecond, millisecond, or in second. We're going to use, we're going to need two seconds. The next thing we need to switch off the LED, so we're going to output a zero to d7 then we're gonna need another delay of one second because we want our led to blink continuously without stopping we're gonna blink it inside a loop this is the loop icon we're gonna use while one the value of one so that it's always gonna evaluate to true. Select 
all the icons and insert them inside the while one loop gonna run the simulation you can see it it's on for two seconds and off for one second stop if you wanna change the color of your LED for simulation purposes you can select your LED under the properties you can select the color let's say if you want a red LED click OK run on for two seconds and off for one second with flow code you can also use variables instead of sending a one we can send the value of a variable this is a calculation icon we can create a new variable click add it's gonna be a byte which can have a value from 0 to 255 we're gonna name it LED okay double click gonna say LED equals to 1 then instead of sending a 1 we can send the value of our variable in this case it's gonna be 1 as well run still on for two seconds and off for one second with flow code there is another way you can control your component instead of using the output icon we can also use another icon we're gonna use the component macro this is the options that we can select we can either turn on the led or turn it off so we're gonna turn it on then after a delay of two seconds we're gonna turn the component off as well run the simulation still on for two seconds and off for two sec and off for one second to save your project click on file save if it's for the first time Flow code is going to give you an option to specify the location where you're going to save your project. You're going to save it on the desktop. You're going to override this existing project. Click save. Do you want to replace? Yes. If you want to generate the C code from your flow chart, you can click on compile to C. If you want to generate an X file that you can load into your microcontroller, you must compile to hex. And if you want to program the Arduino to load the code inside it, then you must click on Compile to Chip. Press Compile to X. There were no errors. The compilation was successful. This is our project on breadboard. This is our Arduino board. We've got a 470 ohms resistor connected to D7 and the positive lead of the LED and the negative lead of the LED is connected to the Arduino ground. Let us plug the USB cable of the Arduino. Before you program your Arduino, you must always make sure that you selected the correct COM port under the build project options. The COM port used by the Arduino is COM port 3. If you don't see any COM port in means that you have to reinstall your Arduino drivers if you install your flow code in C drive under program files open flow code v8 there is a drivers folder open the Arduino these are the drivers that you can use for your Arduino Click on finish. Now we can program the Arduino board. The flowchart must be saved. Yes. Compile successfully. Ensure that your Arduino hardware is connected to the computer via the USB cable and remove any load from the programming pins TX and RX. Okay. Okay, programming successful.
Okay, you can see our LED is blinking on for two seconds and off for one second. We can also simulate our project with Proteus. The first thing we're gonna need the actual Arduino board. We're gonna use the Uno. Okay. We're gonna need the series resistor full 70. We're gonna also need an LED. I'm gonna use the red LED. Rotate, rotate the resistor, gonna connect it to D7, then the LED, gonna need the ground connection, then load the X file, edit properties, Select the X file generated by flow code. Blink X blink dot X and run. You can see the LED is on for two seconds and off for one second. So basically guys this is how you can blink an LED with flow code it's super easy when using the component micro you just need to say turn on and turn off and then specify the delay thank you guys for watching this tutorial don't forget to like it to leave a comment and to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future and I will see you guys in the next tutorial thank you